The second straight day, truckers took to the streets to protest what they're being paid to deliver freight. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in Medley with who they're fighting for better pay. Gary. Well, this has been a loud and very peaceful demonstration here today on US 27, not far from the Palmetto Expressway. Unlike yesterday, no one blocked the highway. And unlike yesterday, when they slapped the cuffs on a fella, no one got arrested. Scores of owner-operator truck drivers gathered along Okeechobee Road this afternoon, but this time they left their trucks at home and brought their cars and family members with them. In stark contrast to Tuesday, when trucks lined the highway and truckers stood on the pavement blocking rush hour traffic. Today, the message was the same. The truckers say middlemen, brokers paid to forward freight, keep most of the money to themselves, leaving owner operators unable to make ends meet. I'm away from my son most of the time. I work very hard on, you know, you know, being a woman, so it's very tough out there. The, the insurance, they, it's the, you know, it's very high. Some say they've had to sell their rigs to feed their families. Absent an effective union, the owner operators have taken their plight to the streets. The whole nation to go together, all the truck drivers to get together, try to do something to fix it because it's not fair. One of the nation's largest brokers, Miramar based CH Robinson, declined to comment on charges it's cheapskating the independent drivers. The drivers say you have reason to care. Truck so drivers bring all the food, all the clothing, everything. Without truck without driving, it wouldn't be nothing. This, you know, this, the state, all the state, United States would be closed down, shut down. They promise to keep up their protest until something is done to smooth their bumpy financial road. What these truck drivers want is a federal regulation that would cap commissions for these middlemen, these brokers, at 10 percent. They say most of them now charge or keep 40, 50, 60 percent of the fees customers pay to ship their merchandise. We're live in Hialeah Gardens. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.